What's up everyone? My name is Soul underscore Glitch, but you can call me Soul. I stream on Twitch, and today we're going to be doing a viewing party of Robot Wars, the original series. If you want to come and join the watch party, feel free to follow my Twitch linked down below. Also, feel free to join my Discord, also linked down below. Last week, Body Hammer fought his way into our grand call you final to face disciple? previous victors. I need to know, because I call one. you Disciple, from show and everyone two. else called you... Robot the Bruce from show three and Cunning Flair. All oh, right, I didn't hear that. I was too busy British talking. Robot Wars champion. Here we go. Who will be the champion? We need to know who's going through tonight. So we're going to have a normal episode, and then at the very end, it's going to be a little bit extended because it's going to have the final episode where all six robots are dumped into an arena at the same time. A bit Ladies like a war. Please welcome the warmonger of Robot Wars. Oh, I don't know Jeremy if it's one works. Okay. Yes, I'm here properly now. Welcome, Vaughn. You've actually made it in time for the final episode of Series 1. So we're going to see who wins. Let's just talk over Jeremy Clarkson being awkward and uncomfortable to watch. We're getting reports of a nation on tenterhooks. Men attending their allotments. Women are cooking supper. Children are tucked up in bed dreaming of the day when they can... Come on, misogyny! But here <laughs> in the east end of London, we have six more robots revved up and ready to fight it out for that last place <laughs> in the final showdown. A battle that would be held at the end of tonight's I agree, program. King. He Before talks too we much. fire up the flamethrowers and charge up the chainsaws in this half-hour homage to Greenpeace... He's doing quite well, Let's though. It's just that worse. he's uncomfortable Pro enough to watch. A durable-looking robot weighing in at 86.3 kilograms. Scarab okay, it drove into the wall. Suspension spring salvaged from a that looks like a loaf of bread car. with a hammer on it. From Mitchum, the blob. The blob. Graffiti, but determined to make a clean name it's for another box. A clear run at That's two. The it's they've spray painted blob on the side. <laughs> Both of these first ones don't look the fantastic. Tracy. Uh, might have a girl's name, but nothing ladylike about our Tracy. So this is a box steel with, with spikes, spikes on the front. A very low center of gravity, only this is looking promising high. so far, this one. <laughs> Yes, the king is alive and protected by Elvis. the expanding Pause, thank you so much for the subscription. I appreciate you. You've redeemed Elvis another star in the galaxy. Elvis. The galaxy loves you. <laughs> From Sutton, Prince of Darkness. This homemade robot weighs Might be in too low for the house robots. So that's a really good point, Kitty. Volts drill motors. Not the most aesthetically pleasing this robot, is a wheelchair. Powerful. From a Maiden wood Head, wheelchair. You bank the mouse. Driven by two 12 volt wheelchair motors, this nippy rodent travels at I love this. Oh, it, right it, <laughs> it drove over the ramp. Those the final six contenders to show their metal. In Von, go get wars. McDonald's. Thank you, Jeremy. Go get that Mackey's. Right. They do, the um, they do it's like a vegan burger now. The testosterone. With our first I love this Please mouse. Defending the gauntlet tonight, our house robots, the matriarch Matilda. There's dead metal with those rather painful. Dead metal's got his front. sword. And Sergeant Banks, as ever, our robots have to avoid these and the traps and obstacles that are set in their way to astonish. Philip is so beautiful. I love Philippa. Incapacitate them. You know, in the olden days, a gauntlet was a type of glove. I'm just paying homage. Right, Roboteers, to my little, I challenge you. Be more interesting my little than that. Bit on the side. Roboteers, stand by. What is it? Is Blob? Blob isn't very fast, Ooh, is it? Driver Phil Patching with what the are we making of the Blob? Engineers Gareth Monday and Simon Carroll. Three, two, one. I don't feel like Blob's going to get very far. If it does, I'll be surprised. Well, volt electric factory. Goodness me, it's slow. It's very slow. I have a lot, Kitty. I love everybody. Dead Metal's having none of it. Tilda's in there. Bash, Dead Metal, and Tilda are all in there. The blob. It's built for the heavyweight division. It's a heavy robot, and it's going to crash and bash, and we're going to crash and bash with this. Are you sure? A lot of crashing. I agree, uh, Jonathan Fierce. Are they sure indeed? And, uh, the blob isn't doing any of it. Tildy, Tildy chop it up. Chop it up, Tildy. Tildy's got toilet paper hanging off her ass. 
on the robot, that is. Robot well, that didn't go according to plan, did it? So, um, using the power That's of it, Kitty. Oh my god, he ugly. <laughs> the there, uh, oh my god, he really. ugly. <laughs> and then the machine broke like down that. as well. Uh, I think, yeah, probably cook the electrics or something like that. I think, you know, with they bigger do. motors, a bit more RAM in power, take I them need out, burn them up. Why did that American robot mm, wars? But you didn't do any of that. Still, Why well did that robot got, with the saw have a better saw than dead metal? Oh, popular team, though. I hope they're back a for later robot. on. First to go, of course, they're top of the leaderboard with seven meters. I mean, meters. seven meters isn't awful. It's like halfway across the course. Roboteers, stand by. This is iconic. Driver Neil Lambert Elvis the Pelvis. They've literally made a robot films. called Elvis. Three, and it's got Elvis's two, head in it. One, I love this. It. It's going to go far. Obviously still with us in that going up the ramp. Sparkly light shade thing. Not going up the ramp. It's stuck Already on the stuck ramp. Though. Only a tiny ground clearance. Right, I'm Neil from Team Orange Field. Robot I would love to be a narrator for this, Bob. I think, like I said, I'm hoping at some point to create my own series I'm not too sure and I could protect... Jesus one. Christ, ah, Bash! But the light shade moves. Uh, Bash is not the messing around. The saw, and already made oh, the first time we've seen Sparks. Is, totally. is that a vinyl saw? It could be burnt off with a flamethrower and Elvis is going nowhere at the moment. Oh, what an absolute shame. It looks so beautiful. Oh, you hound dog, Sergeant! Bash has lost his saw. Bash's saw is Good tapping heavens, all the time. Villeneuve, except he's world champion and you're not. What on earth mm. went wrong there? Obviously, uh, not, not quite my fault. Need to practice your driving that skills there a bit. That's next your name. Still, thanks very much for coming and now... Um, Pause, I'm sorry, away. I don't get it. <laughs> oh, what does that mean? What does that mean? Does that mean you've subscribed for two months in a row? Robot ears, stand by. What does that the mean? Team from Paul, you'll have to explain it to my tech and Are oh, you a second in bits? Yes, you are. Three, yes, you are, Paul. Thank you so much for the one, bits. Please watch the cut fill up. I'm really hoping Tracy goes far. Now you know. Let me know if the cup doesn't fill up, by the way, Paul. But thank you so much for the bits. Who wants to be one of number one? How many how many bits are you off? You are number one now. Lovely, though. okay. This is our robot, Tracy. She's in the heavyweight category, and as you can see, she's quite sturdily built. He's got unique. <laughs> you did that just to be first, first. That's cute. Though. Thank you so Before much. I oh, I didn't check how much I needed. I think I might have just hit how much I needed for my first <laughs> first ever Twitch payout. You can flip it over. It'll move on both sides, but not very far. So I really appreciate it, Pause. I love you. Thank you. So, did you imagine it was Tracy didn't like get very there? far. No. I quite like and Tracy. What was about it? it was hard. It was very difficult. I think so, Paul. Oh Don't dear. quote me on that. that. Sharon would have been better. Right. Well, there we are. Well done anyway. You got about Should've half. Should have called it Sharon. Thanks, Jess. Just over in fact. Jez is Je Jeremy Clarkson jokes just don't land. And I don't think that that's Jeremy Clarkson's fault. Robot ears, I think by. the contestants are so awkward in this first series and they're all sort of a 40-year-old manufacturing supervisor the driver that they don't the know how to respond three, to Jeremy's banter. Two, one. I hope the mouse gets yes. far. Jesus hole, Christ! Our own kitty cats. There's the sergeant and dead metal. Dead metal's not having none of it. And up against their power. Oh, the mouse is quick. A deadly right hook and left cross, says Steve. Very nippy though. A it is nippy. Why is it circle. going? Why is it facing all three no of the house robots? Would it not go through the? Would it not rather go through something else? Wow. That was really good. That that made it through really fast. Um, we get in. Uh, we get in. Yes. Let us know what you're getting, Bond. Get we me. need to know. That was I'm just great. Marvelous mouse. <laughs> me as a robot. Vibes. Terrific robot. Vibes. Great I think I would be the blob. The the only one through to complete. <laughs> I've decided. Robot ears, stand by. <gasps> Kitty Cat, thank you so much for the bit. I really appreciate that. Is that because Kitty, Kitty, you're now second place. Thank you so much. And you did that so you didn't kick fours off the top, isn't it? <laughs> thank you so much. I appreciate it. Beyond Sergeant Bash's flamethrower, very slowly, very securely, very powerful actually, with the two wheelchair motors. Oh, it's powered by wheelchair motors. 
back in the day, uh, 1998 wheelchair motors, may I add. No wonder these things took months to build at a time. This from Oxford. Uh, this is our robot Scarab. It's driven by two wheelchair. I'm not going to get DMCA'd for that, um, am I? <laughs> This, their team name that is written on their shirt did not age well. <laughs> yes, Bam Linda. Thank you so much, Pods. I appreciate it. Again, thank you so much, Kitty. Um, I mean, I'm uncomfortable with their team name. <laughs> Chair motors. But we're going to, we're going to, we're going to move on. <laughs> And, uh, it did we, not wait. We it this is that's like them literally them. calling their their team name out. Well, they <laughs> well come on, Scarab, you can do it. Dead metal away. looks boss. I love dead metal with old design. That's a very plodding robot you've got there. It is it's iconic indeed, Bond. Mm, bit of power, but not much speed. It's about as fast as we can get it to go. I'm afraid. What's it like when you're being attacked by those things? Um, I wasn't really paying much attention to them, actually. Just uh, trying to force my way through. Right, deduct points for smugness. <laughs> well done, though. That was a good... <laughs> okay, that was something I would say. That's something I vibe Jonathan with. Chris have done enough. How is the cup looking, by the way? In second place, I feel like I want to look, but I'll look in a minute. What's the name of the Robot triangle one? I do not remember. Mark. It said there. Prince of Darkness, driven by second place, and they're safely through. It's literally called the mouse, Bob. <laughs> stand by. That's its name. Prince of Darkness, driven by 16 Prince of Darkness Scott, looks like a kid made a cardboard summer. robot yeah. and said, this is that. Five hours, powered by two powerful motors who will actually pull the motor car. That's Three, a lot of tech in there. Two, one, activate. Those two motors I believe they've gendered it male, Bob. The mouse is male gender because it's robot and it's manly. Back in the day. Please remember that this show has, has dated viewpoints on gender and everything else. No, the Prince of Darkness is going all the way. Look at that. Paul and Silver Tilda came across, but did it cross the line first? They think so, but the judges say no. They've got to do it all again. It wasn't all the way over the line. Of yes, it was. It was over the line, wasn't it? That is the worst robot I've ever seen in my life. She is a queen. Okay. Drag queen mouse bomb. Can pull a car. And what would have happened if Sergeant Bash had attacked it with his flamethrower? It probably would have been a bit of light, but it would have been more spectacular for the audience. Well, that's very, very thoughtful. I like this guy. I like this guy. Little robot along. And amazingly, this made it. The prince is through, the king Very nice. is gone. Elvis is, is out, what a shame. It's so, such a beautiful little thing. Dead. Look at the Probably scratches the from Bash, though. This, <laughs> it was so beautiful as well. Bash's oh, saw just now scratched the paintwork. Look at those blackened by the house robots. You can't afford to be arrogant with them, you no, see. they're going to die. They're going to die. They're is this what the blob looks like underneath? Oh, my God. Look how simple that is. Snooker. Let's They're going to play snooker. The most it gets well, uh, worse later on, for sure. Yes, it does. Television screens. It does indeed. Robot snooker on are, the you other hand is right are you referring to the misogyny? <laughs> boat racing. Here's how it works. Basically, each of our five remaining robots has been allocated a pocket. Now, when the action begins, they're going to leap out and spend the duration of the game trying to fill it up again with as many of these balls as they possibly can. Now, obviously, it's going to be mayhem out here. There'll be balls going everywhere. It'll be own goal city. But we're not bothered because when time... Oh, yeah, Bash's sword does get worse. ...with the least <laughs> amount of correct. balls in their pocket will be taken I think outside, Bash ends up to a post and just left there, really. Robot ears, stand I think by. Bash's saw ends up... Um, it gets, like... Three, it goes from this big two, to, like, this big, and one, it literally do, never gets turned on or works. And it's permanently well, bent. Very quickly out and breaks and aggressive. And let me point out They've got a collectible. This is Hungry robot Hungry Pippos, but for robots. I like this. Active of those robots will go out. You've got to be active. You've got to be aggressive. And Tracy is stuck. What's happened to Tracy? Impaired on that side fence, it would seem. There's a long pot attempted by the Prince of Darkness, who very interestingly has that bucket on the front now to help it with a short little pot in there. 
That's the first. Okay. Yeah, let's make a robot pause. This is such an expensive hobby. Tracy still stuck on the fence there to the left hand side. And look at the Prince of Darkness, another long pot attempted there. Comes home just to edge it in. That's three balls. What's the mouse doing? What's the mouse doing? Tracy is stuck. The mouse is dead. The mouse seems to have broken down. The Prince of Darkness, though, ready to rack and stack them in. In goes the fourth ball off the bottom of your picture there. A fifth one goes in. I'm the here Prince for that pause. The we'll fight them all in someone's garage. Cease. He's through, so too the Scarab. Now, who was the least active of the rest with no balls? Oh, no, I'm being told that the mouse has irreparably broken down and he's out. The mouse has gone chewed up by the kitty cats. How do they know that the mouse right, has irreparably broken you, down? You, you weren't really up against much, were you? How do they no, know? They didn't take it apart. Broke down I thought it was be they didn't. Badly beaten up. They didn't. Yeah, wh what happened to yours? They then? didn't look at it. She's just a bitch. <laughs> to be quite honest. <laughs> Saying, call it Sharon. I want to see a respray for the next. He just round. said, "Bitch." Sharon, right? On your national house, television. <laughs> Best-looking one here. Well, some say. So on that, we'll uh, move on to the next round, I guess. Do you oh, think that was a stock geez. robot? It was a bit of a tight squeak, but I'm afraid the mouse. Do you think the mouse was out. a stock robot because they didn't take it apart and look at it? Yeah. Only had one driver in a robot wars uniform. Yeah. Maybe they had to irreparably have it removed for because of irreparable damage. Real fighting begins. Now, in case our roboteers don't get stuck in properly, the four house robots are on the hand to garnish proceedings with a little chilli sauce. And if, at the end of the bout, the two robots are still running, we shall turn to our panel of adjudicators Here we go. for a decision. Is he going to talk about well, a Sinclair? They're going to you, roboteers, for style, control, violence, Yeah, Tracy should have gone. I, on the other 100%. hand, am only interested in violence. So get out there. Von, the mouse is some. out. <laughs> <laughs> the Rumor mouse the is irreparably by. repairable the damage. That made no sense, but you get it. Three, Ooh, and there, Peter two, Come back, please. Yeah. I think it was a stock in robot, Von. I think it was time. a studio robot that they had to get out of the competition. Head and I think they put it in to fill space. Heavy metal thunder. And this is two big like boxes fighting. Here comes the torch. Yeah, no, exactly, the Kitty Cat. So I agree. Oh, look at that hammer blow. Missed. Thank goodness for the blob team, but the scarab team Fair in enough, there. Fair enough, I think we've all irreparably broke down, haven't we? It's <laughs> oh no, whoa, the big hero. Goodness me, that scarab can and really push. Bash is getting so aggressive. You could be right. You could be stone dead. Oh, rusty it's not. Piece the it's block. not immobilized though. The rules are whack. What are Your the rules for series right. one? It's the slowest here. Probably, yeah. It is also. The what least are the powerful. rules for series one? Oh, I don't know about that. Mm, it looks like cheese on toast, and its hammer doesn't work, and you still got through. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> amazing is one way of looking at it. Still, we'll see. Have you, you seen the, the flamethrower, Von? <laughs> Sergeant Bash has a flamethrower. He's a big boss. He's one of the bosses of the arena. The Prince of Darkness. You said it was an amateur job. So no, I don't think so either. A bit tacky still. Um, yeah, I think. Fantastic. Have well you done, seen guys. in the later seasons? There are edits though, where well, after a robot has been like thrown into the pit, which will come in future, it's like a big hole in the floor that you push each other into. Um, once a robot's been put back in, they put in another image of like the winner like reversing, but in the background you see. The pitted so robot driving around. So it, it's edited Three, all weird. And I don't think two, it was like watched back. One. Activate. But yeah, it is possibly. The crowd favorites. It's uh, David against uh, heavyweight Goliath in the shape of Come Tracy. On. Right, so logically, Tracy should win this. That could maim and damage but and that destroy. little thing can push a car. Get Tracy could be flipped up and over and still survive. I'm not too sure whether the. Team Scimitar, Prince of Darkness, boys can do just that. Oh, look at that! Already a puncture! Okay, we got a puncture tyre. Looks like it can like still drive, though. the heart of the Prince of Darkness, boys. Prince of Darkness and Tracy dancing together. Well, Von, you're about to get the whole thing. I'm going to save it in VODs. I'm going to upload these on YouTube as well. And surely that will immobilise Prince of Darkness! 
It's held now. I mean, the tires are flat. There's the puncture tire. Very, very close towards the grid at the top of your picture. They wouldn't get out from there. I don't think they're going to escape anyway. Almost up and almost over. The Tracy boys. They need to be separated. The Prince of Darkness him in comes the Sergeant and Dead Metal. Well, they've deemed Prince of Darkness a mobile, I guess. Almost all over in like vultures. Oh dear, unfair play, surely. Gone. I didn't get to tell you. Look, Tracy's stuck on the grill. Nowhere to go. The Prince of Darkness was still mobile. Oh, well, they must have counted it out. But. Thank you, thank you, thank you for um, removing the most miserable robot from the equation. I did it for you. I don't know. I don't Hello, remember what I'm saying there. We're very I was rude about that, oh, yeah, Vaughn. So this is a what wooden arena. Now? She's gorgeous. They've she got petrol powered the robots. Right. And no they've got a house robot Is with a flamethrower. <laughs> and soon then. next yes, season is. they'll have a flame <laughs> pit. It looks more like, like a pit in the floor <laughs> that shoots fire up that robots like. get roasted on. We think we've got the hammer We stand UK Robot Wars <laughs> and their lack and, uh, of health and safety. Tracy is lucky they got through. I think they probably would have put the more interesting robot through to be fair, but we stand Tracy. TRE, a CIA. I can't spell. Health and safety, who? Is this going to be interesting? We've got Tracy versus the big scarab. Who's winning this? Because Scarab Ooh, has the pushing power. Tracy has. They're fighting it out for the last place. And the fight is on the front. You nervous? A little, yeah. You? And this very is for nervous. the final. So this is for the six way fight between the finalists, which we're about boobs. to see. Let's find out who it's going to be. Oh, they're all screaming Tracy in the audience. Robot ears, stand by. There's the mace led by Killatron, an earlier competitor Three. in Robot they do. Wars. They Two. do look the same. One. One's fat and one's Eight. really low to the floor, though. And the two heavyweights come together. They've got a mace on the hammer. Oh, and there are those dangerous bronze immediately Goodness me. From Tracy. That was a jab. What, damage they can cause and what are the house robots the doing? Scarab. Get the way. Matilda, bottom of your picture. Dead metal to the right-hand side. Get back I wonder in what damage that's Goodness caused, the puncturing. Oh, of Scarab, I'll tell you what, he's ripped the flesh off Scarab. Has Tracy can see a trailer off that's one of the deadly tape, prongs. Tracy's just ripped off of Scarab. That mace is like a little school ground conquer against a juggernaut. In comes Tracy once again, spinning, turning, good Goodness driving. Mate. Poison out of control there again. Oh! Sure mental enough to take on the Sergeant. She's jabbed know, Sergeant Bash. Damage cause. And certainly Tracy's a mobile. Twice before coming in, but Matilda takes on the Scarab with that to sail. And off comes the radio control mark. What's happening? Scarab isn't in a CPZ. I think the mace is out. And meanwhile, Tracy isn't out of control. It's mad enough for bitches. Why was Matilda attacking? And that'll be earning points. Scarab. The judge is deciding on damage, aggression, control and style. And surely it'll go to points now. Surely it'll go to the judges. And Tracy's there. <laughs> the sergeant. <laughs> Tracy don't give a fuck. <laughs> Tracy a says, fuck you, team. such a fuck. You see the in there. I build a robot well, with a giant Tracy hammer. Vaughn, you, um, your giant ha hammer wet dream will, um, will appear in Robot Wars Series 6. Pull on to the house robot on the Scarab. I didn't see that. I disagree. It's just slow. Uh, Vaughn, I will say, um, if you want your wet dream realised, Google Robot Wars well, Series 6, Mr. Psycho. To say we now have got a result, You're unanimous, welcome. Unanimous, judged as You're usual welcome. on damage, aggression, style and control. Oh, right, it's winner, one of its... Tracy! There we go, Tracy won. So we've got Tracy in the grand final. This is going to be a six-way melee. Huge congratulations. Was it and I'll pause it right before and Dalton. see who we're rooting for. That bit where you got and Vaughn, for you, I will explain. Over. I did, but one of the house robots helped us out, so that was great. I will they're explain, nice Vaughn, who, been saying all along, they're nice guys. And I love who is who. When they, uh, who everybody is, because you've attacked, not been here. Same with you, pause. We just had to have a go at those house robots. Deeply satisfying.
Well, you've done it. You are through. You've earned yourself a place each. in the grand final. <laughs> go get yes, ready. Tracy. Wow. Yes, now, Tracy. We stand. This is what the whole series has been leading up to. An orgy, a six-way orgy of death. He just said audio on national and television. The final from heat one, roadblock diverting all opponents to take the glory road. Pay attention. From heat two, recyclops with the extending tongue licking all opponents. From heat three, the brute force of robot the Bruce. And our featherweight pretender cunning plan speeding to victory in heat four. Next, the copper colored coal scuttle working out the maze in heat five. And they're all joined by tonight's winner, the not-so-ladylike Tracy. So, for those of you that haven't been here, um, episode one winner, Roadblock, here, um, is has a saw on the back, is a literal wedge. It is huge. This thing is really strong at pushing. It's huge as well. That saw does damage. Um, and then episode two winner Recyclops is a little dome with a big eye and the tongue comes out. So the, the tongue comes out and it's got a flipper on it. It threw Matilda in the air in its episode. Matilda got turned over. Episode three was Robot the Bruce, which is a big burly box that pushes everything around. Cunning Plan is a featherweight. It's a lot smaller than all the rest of these. Um, and it's just a wedge. You've got Body Hammer, which you probably saw. It's just a cone with a hammer on it. Really good, though, and Tracy from tonight. Any ideas on who we've got winning Robot Wars Series 1? Robot the Bruce, it doesn't do damage. It doesn't. It's just really strong. Recyclops is cute as hell. We stand Recyclops, Tracy. Um, who, who do you think is going to be Robot Wars Series 1 champion based on what we've seen so far? Recyclops has the weapons. Roadblock has the size and the wedge. Robot the Bruce has the power. Body Hammer's got the driving. Cunning Plan is too small to win. And Tracy is manic. And gets stuck a lot with them spikes on the front. So could be immobilized quite fast. <laughs> Von wants the <laughs> Cyclops to win because it looks funny. I'm sure that's right. I'd say uh, Roadblock the Bruce or a Cyclops should do the most. I agree. Logically, those two should be the do the most. But it's only if... Recyclops can get its tongue flipper in underneath. And the excitement here in the Poor mum, hello! Intense. You've come in time for we a grand final. Um, the stream is the almost monitor. over. But We're it's so good to see you, you here. Are. Hello. Are How are you, my beautiful goddess? Robot ears, stand by. Are we all ready for this final? Here we go. Of roadblock with its scoop front and body hammer, the cold fusion team, and Rex Garrod on the right, driver of Recyclops with the extending ton. Best cunning pay plan for the We're going to have a breading. talk about Three, this afterwards. Two. And Robot the Bruce and one. Tracy from tonight. Activate. And this for the title, the first ever UK Robot Wars champion. Aggressive style already, especially from Tracy's Recyclops fighting Recyclops. Goodness me, Tracy. Robot to come in underneath. There's the extended ton. It spikes Recyclops, Recyclops right in the eye. Tracy over at this moment in time. Tracy comes back. There's body hammer in the spot like weekly and flip. running away. Tracy, it just get back up. Needs to get back into the action and be aggressive, and it is there because the judges will mark for aggression. And Tracy's up on cunning plan, and both of them are out. That's unfortunate. Four left, body hammer, and recycles from Robert the Bruce there to the left hand side, and the dangerous roadblock who's persisting in this attack. On Recyclops, the most dangerous attacking robot. Oh, Recyclops is up and out. over. But Goodness me. Recyclops. Down it comes. The oh, it's taken a batter in Recyclops is. Roblox still pressurizing. A body hammer thrusts into Robot the Bruce. Recyclops on its side. Is it going to get flipped? Not yet down. Robot the Bruce trying to get involved. Rex Garrard needs to get his tongue back in in every sense of the word. Recyclops top the picture. There's the chain off Recyclops. Recyclops is done. Okay, so Cunning Clan, Tracy, Roblox and Recyclops are all out. Is out. They're down to three. Body Who's hammer. next? Roadblock behind it. And there's Robot the Bruce up on his side and goes as well. And that leaves that was a dumb Robot driver team. move. Students from Over goes Robot the Bruce. The so we've got Body hammer. hammer and Roadblock left. Here's Roadblock closing in on the far more experienced engineering team. Getting in underneath. It's over. It goes to the judges. And the what arena. do you reckon, oh. chat? What do you reckon? Um, sorry, I'll catch up with chat now that all that chaos is over. I'm okay. Um, I was out for dinner. Sorry, I missed the beginning. Don't you worry, poor mum. I hope you had a good dinner. 
Um, for my, are you going to stream again? I miss you. Yes, I'm going to try again. No worry, I'll be back. Try. It. Yeah, we've been waiting, poor mom. We waiting on you. Um, cheese robot is. <laughs> Uh, yes, I just miss your little face. I think we all miss poor mom's little face. Um, cheese robot is going to win. Who is the cheese robot? Y are you talking about Roblox? I think Roblox uh, did a bit more, but it could go either way. To be fair, Roblox, um, it didn't do anything. Tracy and Cunning Plan eliminated each other. Then Roblox eliminated Recyclops. Roblox then eliminated um, Robot the Bruce. And then, oh yeah, then that was it. The other two were left. So I believe, I believe Roblox should have won that. We'll see if the judges think so, because the judging has been all over the place so far. Uh, cheese robot left. <laughs> see, it looks like cheese. Which one looks like cheese? The one looking like part of a cheese wheel. Sorry, I missed a lot. On its feet, a standing ovation. Well, I think that what? calls for a judge's decision. And while we await it, let's have a look at some of the action from that. Let's get a replay. Royal. Let's get a replay. These the six bidding to become the champions of the first series of Robot Wars. Recyclops attacked by Roadblock. Roadblock in the thick of things again as Tracy takes out Cunning Plan and goes out herself. Roadblock then yes, attacking they Recyclops and Robot the Bruce. Just Robot the Bruce was doing that as well. Recyclops, Recyclops wasn't getting out of any of that. Roadblock and Recyclops, the chain came off in the end. Leaving three and Roadblock putting out Robot the Bruce off the Roadblock is the cheese, okay. And my money's on Roadblock, but let's see what the judges have to I say. I agree. I agree with Roadblock. All right, quiet down, everybody. Quiet the cheese down. should win we it. Have a decision. The one with Roadhead closed, Roadblock from should the win judges, it. Yeah. That the winner, the British Robot Wars champion, Series 1, is Roadblock! We have our very first champion. Roblox is the a giant wedge. A very, very so the first, one, that's I quite funny so actually, because Roblox, Roblox was the first robot to be introduced in the whole of Series 1. What was that like? And it won. Best time of my life. Absolutely loved it. It really was. Absolutely I believe that their thank you for coming. Thank you for being absolutely magnificent. Available on eBay. Winners, champions, this and thank you everyone right at home for watching.